are they? And we're out here on the Utah Nevada border in Salt Flats. See just how salty white soil is. Really, really high mineral salt concentration. So what happens here is yeah, these will fill up pools of water during the winter. And that water has, has these mineral salts in it. And as it evaporates off, it leaves the salts behind us. That happens year after year after year. You get this, this really salty surface. Uh, and it's a place that makes it very difficult for most plants to grow. We just drove about a 15 or 20 mile section and hardly saw the soil concentration, the salt concentration of the soil so high that no plants can survive at all. And the main reason they can't survive is, is because of uh, osmosis, osmotic potential. We've talked about the fact that uh, water always moves towards higher concentration of solutes. And these are inorganic solutes, potassium, sodium, magnesium, calcium. Uh, these are non-living solutes and they cling to the water and hold on to it. And the higher the concentration of the solute, the, the, the more fiercely it clings, clings, uh, clings to the water. And so if you're a plant and you have a root down in the, in the soil and you're trying to capture that water, the salt concentration is so high that it's very difficult to pull the water out. So if we came and transplanted most plants out into the salt flat, it would die of dehydration. It simply couldn't get enough water. These plants right here, these are called halophytes. If you actually take a little bit, just taste the, the leaves, they taste pretty salty. So they, they can tolerate actually accumulating some of the salts. They store them inside of the cell, in, inside vacuoles that separate them out from where all the important physiology is happening so it doesn't interfere with the physiology. And then what they do down in their roots is they produce uh, simple sugars. So these are, are organic compounds. It's not sodium, potassium. It's not these mineral salts. If they accumulated that really high concentration in the roots, it would kill the roots and kill the plant. But they produce, through photosynthesis, these very simple sugars called compatible solutes that are organic. They're, they're chains of carbon. And they uh, produce them at a really, really high concentration. Higher concentration than these mineral salts. And that allows them to then, almost like a tug of war, pull the water into the roots to get enough uh, water for the plant to survive out in these, these salt flats. It's just a really, really interesting thing. Uh, you can imagine why would a plant choose to grow out here? And it's because it has no competition. If you can solve the problem of getting water in the salty soil, then you're gonna have all the sunlight and all the, all the water, if you can get it, uh, that you can possibly need. And see, this is the only species of plant that's actually growing out here. So this plant has no competition. And there are probably very few herbivores, rodents, that would wanna eat this plant because it's accumulating salts in its tissues. And it just, there's not enough habitat to support uh, animals that would attack this plant. So th at this, when this plant solved the problem of getting water from this, the soil, um, it created an environment where it could really thrive.